want to create cool design concepts, or maybe you want to design the game characters or 3D visualization with artificial intelligence, or maybe just a realistic photo for your Instagram. No matter what you want to do, today I'm going to show you how to do it right. What's up everyone? This is Still17. I'm an independent musician, producer, and part-time designer who've been in this field for more than eight years. You probably already know, or maybe even try use me journey in your design projects, but you probably weren't getting the result you expected, and today we are going to fix it because you don't have to know all nuances and fine details of using Midjourney to create images like this or this or this. Well, before we move on to generate our first image, please like this video and subscribe on this live channel so you don't miss other videos on design and artificial intelligence. This is my first video on this channel, so your likes will be main indicator for me. Thank for your attention. We are ready and let's go to work. In order to create high quality images, we will use two artificial intelligence, ChatGPT and Midjourney. Don't worry if you have never used ChatGPT and you know nothing about it, because I did all hard work for you and all you need to do is just follow my steps. So if you don't have accounts on the both platforms, please make it. I leave all links on the sign up forms in the description. Now, what you need to do is to set up your ChatGPT to do all the dirty work for you. How do you do this? This. Follow the link in the description where you will find a Google text document that called GPT prompt. Open it and what you have to do is just copy this text right before image generation formula. Copy it and paste into GPT chat. Just click on the new chat on the left side and paste it. And wait for a response. With this instruction, ChatGPT understands what to do and what we want to get from him. So as you can see, it's already generated test prompt for picture. So you can already just copy it and paste into your mid journey. Just click slash image prompt and paste it. So we wait. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Some in the mountains that I can see this clear. Okay, the picture is done. Looks not bad actually. I think this one, the second one, and the third one, and the last one looks good. But we're actually interested in how to generate our own images with our own prompts. So for this, we are going to use reference sentence. You can find it in the same Google document right here, just below the text. Here, what it looks like. Write me prompt for an style of image, image of object and action in the image, which would be perfect for aspect ratio using Midjourney prompt formula. That's it. So what are we gonna do? You just copy, go to our ChatGPT bot, paste it and change this information. So style of image, I would say realistic of, let's do something like junk drinking coffee at the cafe, which would be perfect. Something like Instagram post. All things about the aspect ratio that you can use in Midjourney, you can find in this documents too. So here it is. Okay, right now we have a prompt. Write me prompt for an unrealistic image of young woman drinking coffee at the cafe, which would be perfect for Instagram post using Midjourney prompt formula. Just press enter and wait. So look at this. We got our prompt. Copy, paste it and wait. Okay, sometimes ChatGPT can use the words that not available in the mid-journey. The word intimate is banned, okay? We can just like delete it. Casual vibe. Okay, not a problem. Wait. Okay, two stylish young women sitting at a cozy cafe table sipping on trimming cups of coffee. Captured with the prime lens on create a shallow depth of field and highlights their expressions and gestures. The warm and inviting atmosphere of the cafe should be emphasized with soft natural lighting and the image should have a casual vibe with muted colors and subtle crane effects for added texture. I think this is a this is a like masterpiece of prompting. So look at this. What do you think, guys? I think it's pretty good. I think it's super pretty good. Let's upscale this one. Okay, here we got a problem with the hands. I think it's better. Okay, how many, how much fingers she has? I want to. Okay, that's not bad actually too. Oh, this one. I like this one actually. This one kind of cool. So of course, we can take our reference phrase and make it a little bit harder. Write me three prompts, for example, for a high detailed 3D realistic 
portrait, why not, of triple A game character mixing to cultural styles like, okay, let's say cyberpunk and Barocco, which would be perfect for Instagram post. Just imagine that we are professionals, game dev designers, okay? So let's do some stuff with it. Look at this. Okay, we got our first prompt, so we can copy and paste it into Mid Journey and see how it turned out. Okay, this one's the first one, the second one, the last one. And now we wait. Okay, the first one is almost there. Let's have a see. God damn, guys, this is a masterpiece. How much time would you make this in Photoshop or I don't know, in 3D programs? Or how much time you will make this prompt? How much time you will waste on it? Okay, the next one. Oh, this one. I like this one. Actually, this one and this one looks pretty good. The first one too. Look at this. So I think it turned out pretty well. Now, of course, we can just save them, scale them in different programs, give it a little bit of adjustment in Photoshop or another photo program. So yeah, write the comment if you're interested in how I process the photos and make digital arts to sell. Please let me know in the comments. Damn, guys, it's look good. I think I will save all of them. I think it's pretty good. So in this way, you can create stunning images, highly detailed photos or anything, any style. And you don't have to know how to use lenses, how to make a photo shoot, how to write the prompts, how to use any different programs. It's so easy and it's really save you a lot of time. The only thing that you have to remember and you have to need to make a new ChatGPT chat every like 10 or 15 prompts. Because ChatGPT3 forgets the right setting and the right formula pretty quick. So keep it in mind to keep getting the result you want. So hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and see you next week because I have a lot of stuff to show you. It was still 17. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button on this video. Bye.